Good morning, everybody. Uh, it's another episode of Pajama Diaries. Today's been up and down, here and there. I've been trying to get myself in some sort of routine. Um, that... <laughs> the first time I tried to set my alarm for 5.30, because, you know, when I start doing live streams in the morning again for my main channel, um, in order to start it like I did before at 10 o'clock in the morning, I'm going to have to get up at 5 o'clock and start getting the show together. So I figured if I start getting myself ready uh, and used to getting up at 5.30, I can roll it back another half hour and I won't have a problem. However, the past couple of mornings where I did set my alarm, my body was like, ah, uh, fuck it. I'm not getting out of bed. This ain't working. <laughs> and the one day that I didn't set an alarm, I actually woke up at 5.30. Surprised me. Yes, I was very surprised because I'm not an early riser. Anybody, you know, you can ask Ronan. An early riser is not me. I'm, nope. <laughs> um, I am getting my second cup of coffee ready. So if you guys will walk with me into the kitchen, I will set you guys up somewhere so you can see me make my cup of coffee. All right, here's my cup of coffee. All right, um, let's see. His last paycheck from Werner was about 200 bucks. That's it. So we have 200 bucks to pay the light bill, which I did. I put money on the light bill since it's prepaid. That's a concept I have to get used to. Never had prepaid electric. So, <clears throat> gonna do that. Um, his main problem has been paid. That leaves us with a round, well, leaves me. With around $30 for groceries. Leaves him because he kept $50 of it. With about $20 left for food for the week. For him because, well, you know, rent a center and bed. We need bed. You know, life without bed would suck. Um, there are some things because yesterday I was on a live stream. Let me change this. Switch my hands around because I'm better. Okay, here we go. You're on my left side now. Uh, there are some things that I have really discovered for, you know, being homeless since September until the 1st of April. No fooling. Um, you never know how much you miss creature comforts until you don't have the damn things anymore. And let me tell you... <laughs> The fact that I just have hot water in a kitchen to cook in is absolutely wonderful. Um, I'm still, we're still working on some stuff. As you can see, we still have no furniture in the living room with $200 for his last paycheck from Warner. That's probably not going to happen until next week when he gets his first paycheck um, with b and with the trucking company he's working for. I can't remember the name. <laughs> I'm such a bad wife, I can't remember the name of the company he's working for. You see all this wonderful stuff that's just lying on the floor? I have to do something with it because my pet peeve is shit on the floor, but we have nothing to put it on, so it's going to remain on the floor. Um, they are going to try and route Ronan, or they're going to route Ronan, somewhere close to the house so he can pick up his stuff. Now the problem is, when, because he said he's getting an advance on his pay Sunday, I think that's what he said, Sunday. So if they route him through by Sunday, he'll be able to get a lift here, which is only about 10, 11 bucks, to get a lift here so he can get his laptop and uh, other things he's going to need to finish his creature comforts for his truck. Now his truck is really fucking cool. Um, this is the second company he's worked for that has a refrigerator in the truck. However, this refrigerator is bigger than the first refrigerator that he had in a truck a long, long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. So that's cool. Second thing in the semi that he has never had, being a company driver for any company, is something called an alternate power unit. That is a unit that is placed in the truck, usually paid for by owner-operators, not companies, so that you can run things like electric stoves, not... Not a big stove, like more like a cooking eye. Um, let me see, coffee pots, laptops, 
chargers and all that stuff without needing an inverter. Now, for those of you that don't know what an inverter is, uh, this is what we had to use in the truck last time and usually in all the other subsequent trucks that we've ever been in. Now, this thing right here, as you can see, let me see if I can get this thing to focus on this. All right, as you can see, it has plug-ins, it has USB, and it has something that looks like a cigarette lighter on the front. Oh, my camera work is screwy. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, I'm trying to do the phone. And then it has this thing. This is what you plug in. To the sockets in the truck in order for this thing to run and convert the electricity to something that's usable for laptops and things. The 150 is how many is you know the the power load that it can handle. We found out very quickly, very quickly in the truck that we were in, that it can run one laptop and it can charge uh, the Bluetooth speaker that we have. That's very loud and sounds like an Asian woman. And I'm not being racist. It really sounds like an Asian woman. This was... Bluetooth mode. See? Uh, this little thing is absolutely wonderful. Crystal clear. You can do it in aux mode or Bluetooth mode. And um, this thing is great. This thing can hook up to my uh, smartphone that I'm using. And, and um, on Bluetooth. And so I can listen to Spotify on the balcony with the phone being in the house. Uh, Bluetooth is great for some things. However, I haven't figured out how to link this thing to my laptop. So I have to keep it in uh, aux mode when I hook it up to my laptop so I can watch things and listen to things, which I think has become a major problem with some of my sound manipulation or sound editing in some of my videos because I'll edit the videos with that thing plugged in. I've stopped doing that. That way, hopefully that'll help me get this whole audio thing sorted. Cause, oh my God, the audio on that first, the second video that I did was bugging the living snot out of me. So I still have a lot of work to do. Um, there will be a vlog later on today uh, for my little adventure, showing you guys where I'm going, where I'm walking, stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, there's going to be that. So stay tuned for my adventure to either Family Dollar or Walmart to get me some food and various sundry things that I need. Um, I don't have that selfie stick thing yet, so I'm going to have to hold it with my hands. But I hope you guys will be there with me. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Pardon me, sir. Let me introduce myself. I represent the Ace Novelty Company of Walla Walla, Washington. Dispensers of rib-tickling practical jokes for all occasions. Do not touch me again. Then don't take my stuff. You have no idea what you're dealing with. Uh, Shakespeare in the Park? Doth mother know you weareth her drapes? <laughs>